Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today's video, I want to show you guys how I made my, guess what? Just grab anything eatable around you and sit and watch till the end. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm peeling the back of the apple off. Here I have five apples. I'm just getting it ready for the recipe I'm about to use it for, which is apple cake. Very, very healthy and yummy guys. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking. I also appreciate you. To my amazing old subscribers, thank you so much for clicking once again. Here, yeah, you can see I still have three apples to peel off the back. After doing that, I'll now go ahead and set it aside. But guys, this back of the apple I'm peeling off. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to just set it aside because I will use it for another recipe. Just like I told you guys in my last video, so this is the first recipe I'm sharing today and next time or maybe another time I'll share with you the second recipe. Like I said in that video that all is from one sauce. So here we go. This is the first one, the first recipe, then the second recipe is on the way maybe after one video or two video it will come out keep watching guys so right now i'll go ahead and pour it on my bowl and set it aside So guys, here for the quantity of the ingredients I use for the batter, just check the description box. I'll leave it down there for you to check on it and get exactly the quantity I use for this recipe. Guys, after mixing the three ingredients very well, we will now go ahead and add its milk. After the milk, we will now add melted butter and fresh grinded lemon back. Mixing it together, you now go ahead and mix your flour and baking powder together before adding it on the mixing ingredients you just mixed. Once the butter is like this, yeah guys, you'll start adding your sliced apples, but gradually, not in a haste. But before adding it on the butter, you have to first cut out half portion of lemon and then squeeze in the juice on the 
apply it just to remove if there is any seed on it you now remove it and pour it on the sliced apple make sure that you mix it very well before adding it on the batter like i say gradually <music> So here make sure that you grease your pan very well guys I prefer using this type of pan because the cake if you don't use this type of pan for it to come out it's not so easy it used to be stick I mean it's stickable on the pan despite of the yeah the water you greased on it or you can go ahead and use baking sheets if you are the type that likes using baking sheets so I'll now go ahead and shake it a little just to make sure that they are all equal and then melt small butter and pour on top of it after that I'll now put it in the oven to be baked for 180 degree for 55 minutes or 60 minutes depending on your oven setting so the cake is done mine was after 55 minutes so i'll now go ahead and open it allow it to cool down a little before coming to cut it before then i'll now apply some powdered sugar on top of it just for my kids but normally I like to eat it just as you see it just like that because it is already sweet and very very tasty when I mean it is tasty guys you need to do this cake okay, it's very very yummy just take a look at it so good so tasty and so so healthy just give it a try and you not regret this recipe you can Use it as a snacks or as a breakfast. Just name it. It depends on what you want to use it for. So that is it. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Though I'm going to test it for you guys before, yeah, leaving you guys. <laughs> My goodness. This cake is very, very. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm going to share the second recipe very soon. Bye.